hello guys so in this video we are gonna uh, learn that how to make a, a register page so for that first of all we have to create here one activity for that so now I'm gonna create that activity activity so we can create activity using here new and in this here activity and this is actually an Android, Android Studio 4.1.1 version so just create here one register activity it will take some time to uh, create this activity uh, so for that time I am pausing this video so I, I forgot to restart this uh, recording that's why uh, so now I'm gonna tell you that uh, what I did till now so here I did one thing that uh, I take two edit text here and one button and after that I am initializing uh, initialize them here in my register.java class so now here we have to the name of this register sorry okay so now when we click that button uh, we have to actually uh, authenticate or we have to mm, mm, we have to authenticate that user so for that first of all let's see the firebase yeah authentication we have to enable here uh, email password authentication it will take some time to load this page okay so go in assign method and enable this email and password authentication now here we go so now whenever we click that button okay we have to authenticate that user so for that what we can do your firebase authentication dot get instant dot create user with email and password so the first thing is okay create user with email and password the first thing is email and the second is password so now just email dot get text text and after the to string and the second one is, mm, is the pass your get text and to string okay and yeah now here we have to call one more thing that is add on cancel listener or complete listener or failure listener like that so i'm gonna first of all create this thing that is add on complete listener here new on complete listener and one more thing add on failure listener new on failure listener okay stop here now whenever uh, we authenticate now we have to here we can um, show a toast that yeah we authenticate in this app so for that uh, what we can do toast dot mac test i totally forgot all the things the second thing is yeah success let's see what we'll see it does. and here the last one is is length that is long or short so i'm gonna use your sort and then dot show show okay this thing now just do one more thing just copy this and here yeah when we fail just write here fail and one more thing just show that what what is the error we are getting here okay now just run this app one more thing we can do here yeah i'm not gonna focus on the styling or the ui of this app okay so now here this is text not text here we can do one more thing that is hint and the hint is email 
okay and this is not text here also we have to write hint that is pass what and the last one is register okay and on one more thing we can do here all caps text all caps that is false okay so now let's see okay it, it is it is looking cool now one more thing just change the color of 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 the text in in this button and how you can do that thing just write here text color i think it will work fine so f f f and now we can see here that yeah but it is not looking so nice so one more thing we have to do here button background so the background we can use here blue at the red color slash blue maybe okay which color we are gonna use here so just write some some random color here uh, like zero 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 ff not so nice color here also ff just write some random number okay so now let's see yeah now it is looking cool now we can do one more thing give some padding or some margin here like that margin top margin left all the things are here you can use anything or also you can search all the things in google you can find all the things there and now i'm gonna do one more one thing here that 24 dp and here margin top is actually 8 dp and the last one is that our button so here i'm gonna do one yeah now okay it is looking cool it will take some time to load okay so here we go so now let's run again and if you want to change the style of this app you can do a very simple thing go here in values style and like that now i don't want to see that uh, action bar there so i can do one one thing here no action bar so now there is no action bar here this college student communication app let's see that it will work or not okay so now we have to run it again just okay it will take some time or also we can change the color of of the upper one this thing i don't know what is the name maybe something just search this thing on google i also don't remember okay it will take some time 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 okay 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 so now let's let's uh, write here some email like one test sorry test one two three four at the rate of gmail.com like that you can write anything here here also now password one two three four five six seven eight or like six one two three four five six and register okay success you can see here that uh, we success means we register this app uh, for this app and if now if you want to see that uh, uh, we register or registered or not uh, we can simply find this thing here in users here we can see our our id our mail all things like here this is our id and this is our user uid okay so now let's do one more thing here yeah now let's assume that you want to verify your email that yeah you want to send some link to that particular email to verify that yeah it's you so for that what we can do here i think now yeah here yeah. just do one more thing five base 
I am not sure, but let's try it. Dot get instant dot um, get current user dot send yeah send email verification but it on complete like that you can you can use this thing so here you can send a verification mail to that person okay so now this is for uh, for this video uh, in in next video i'm gonna show you that how we can create a login page and how we can create a forward password page after that uh, i will create a very simple chat room okay and uh, then if if i have some time then i will also also make a, i will also tell you that how we can do all the things using mongodb how we can register there how we can integrate uh, mongodb and uh, our so thank you for uh, watching this video mm, okay